Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome to Scrap Backwards. This is the last one for May. So next week we're into June, I'm not sure how that's happened, but there we go. And for today I am using the paper that I've said that I will use for a couple of weeks now. It's the Chamel Go Now Go paper, so it's quite an old paper. This was a travel collection before I started scrapbooking, but I managed to pick up some bits and pieces of it. Not much, but I have got like some paper, paper pad embellishment, so that's good. So we are going to use one of those papers. I have done a little bit of prep. You can see I pulled out some bits and pieces and I have already cut the paper up and added a couple of bits. So I've added four flare here. This is a new set that is coming in due course. I'll just show you that. Look at that. Um, so it's the Rainbow Splash suitcases because it's all about travel. And then I have done what I thought I would do is and cut out this. I basically cut it all apart. Then it's all been stuck back down onto a white cardstock. I've added these, these are actually from Vicky Booting Where To Next because I have one item from that collection so far and that's the chipboard stickers. So I've actually used Happy Life from that. So that wasn't in my kit. When I was, I was just playing about basically and then I kind of just did it, not realizing I should be recording. Um, but anyway, and I added a little bit of washi tape there which is just an XOXO I think. Yeah, um, I've no idea where that's from. It's just in my mound of washi tape. So I cut this strip, this strip, this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, and this strip. I did debate distressing all the edges before putting it back down, but I decided against that. And then I've just used this photo. This is just printed on plain copy of paper because I didn't have any A4 photo paper. And I have added a couple of triangles of the original paper that was there because the photo wasn't quite big enough. So I needed something to sort of squeeze back into there. I'm sorry that there's loads of shadows today. Not sure what that's all about. Let's see if I can change that. It's a little bit better maybe. Although there's now a shadow there. Let's have a look. Okay, that's probably the best it's going to get. Then I've been through, if you've seen my kit reveal video a couple of months ago now, because this is of course a mega kit, you'll have seen I've got three trays of ephemera and, sorry, two trays of ephemera and a tray of 3D embellishment. So wood, wood veneer, wood, cork, acrylic, chipboard anything chunky and um, so I've got loads of bits and pieces and as I say I added these four flare here which is a set because this is a photo of Kathy and myself in Bilbao in Spain which was one of the stops we made on our cruise okay so in terms of what I want to do it's going to be quite a random layout it's quite a geometric -y, sort of blocky layout and the embellishments are going to go down that route as well. Um, I kind of regret using this now, if I'm honest. But it is what it is. The colours match because we've got the green and the teal and the red and the blue. But yeah, it is what it is. And I did tear the paper a little bit up here. I don't know if you can see. So this is actually a little bit of torn paper now. Which is a bit of a bummer, but we will hide it. It's just an opportunity to embellish. And as I say, I have gone through the ephemera trays, embellishment trays, just because it takes me quite a while. Um, and we will probably add a couple more flare as well. I'll just give you a very quick sneaky peek. Do, 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 do. Um, so we'll probably add a couple more as we go. Okay, I'm just gonna chat randomly and add. So I wanted to add some tickets and I've got this Bon Voyage with the anchor from Doodlebug which obviously works perfectly because whilst we are off ship we were on a cruise we were just on one of our port days 
Um, so I wanted to use that and then I wanted to bring in a few of these tickets because I love tickets. Tickets work with anything. So I've got a couple of Pink Fresh Studio tickets from one of my favourite collections out and about and they've just released a new travel collection which is really exciting but equally not good because budgets don't stretch but I do want a bit of it. Okay, so I'm going to sort of layer up these tickets going up there. So what I thought is if we have them sort of like here, and then let me just check, yeah, about here, then we've got like a ticket cluster and then this Bon Voyage, and I've also got this flower just to add a pop of colour really. Um, it is literally just a pop of colour. So I just want that little bit showing. And then that is going to go there. And that's our first cluster, really. Dead simple, just layered up some tickets. A couple of the tickets are also from Dear Lizzie. The ticket paper from She's Magic. I had like two or three sheets and I cut out all the tickets because I'm a bit obsessed with tickets. Of course, I could have also used 49 and Market ticket essentials because I do have all of them. But I wanted to try and stick to my kit as much as possible. I know I've brought flare in, but I've always said I'll never add flare to a kit, and I did bring them in. But that aside, everything else is from the kit. We've also got this chipboard ship from Simple Stories Cruising Collection. Again, it's not on a ship, but they are it is part of the cruise. So I feel like that can work. And same for this lifeboat. I just want nods to cruising, basically. So what I thought is we could add the life ring behind our ship. And then I also have my sweet friend banner, because that is certainly what Kathy is. And I've noticed the last couple of times we've actually done photos of me and Kathy. That wasn't intentional as such. Um, and whilst I am obviously scrapbooking with a photo this week, I chose the paper and these and the embellishments before I actually chose the photo, but I couldn't really build the layout without a photo like I sometimes do, hence why we do have a photo today, if that makes sense. Then I also want to use this geotag, I've got a couple of these out, hopefully we can use them says we were here and I thought adding that on top of the boat was just a little extra. It's going to be a very heavy bulky layout. It's already quite heavy. I know some people are not fans of bulky layouts. You'll have guessed by now that I am. And it's what I like and that's all that matters. My albums are very bulky. But given flair, it, it's always going to be. We've also got this banner, it says Living the Dream, which we certainly were for these couple of uh, weeks that Cathy was over. So I wanted to utilise the different directions of this paper. And I also have this title, it's in a green, I think it was designed for an outdoorsy autumn adventure exploring sort of collection. It's from, I think this is from Pear Tree Cut Files, and I've just broke broke it that's my fault though um it's fine they just slot back together quite easily some of the elements of the uh, acrylic are quite thin so you're naturally going to get some that break sometimes they arrive broke or if you're heavy handed like me then you will break it no biggie we can slot it back together so i'm going to put this here so I'm going to have Wonder, Loss, and I've just lost my glue lid, there we go. Okay, and then we'll do the same, put some glue on here. So yeah, I do have some acrylic from various places in my kit, so I'm trying to get that used as well. Got some colour cast designs, some pear tree, redefined creative is where these plus signs come from. 
and it's just trying to get some stashies before some exciting acrylic and stuff comes our way. Okay, I quite like, as I said, the different directions that we've got going on. Um, I am, as you know by now, if you've watched many of my videos, I do love a plus sign. I don't know what it is, I just love it. So I wanted to add some plus signs. As I say, these are from, I believe, Redefine Creative. Yeah, they are. Um, so I've got a couple of red and then a couple of black up there as well. So we're going to pop them on here. I'm just going to do that and then I'm just going to push that down with a random box and straighten them out. Okay. So I like that little cluster going on down there. The green is a different kind of green. I've got a bit of green here, but it pulls in the green that's up here. And I have got a couple of other green elements that I've pulled out that I'm hoping to use as well. So I think it works. I don't think it looks massively out of place. <clears throat> and then I also have the, I've got loads of these Tim Holtz chipboard words. So this one says collect beautiful moments, as you can see. I'm going to put that on a slant. And then we have another piece of acrylic. It's sort of like a travel board style. And it says travel. And I liked it because the alphas from Chamel's collection are in this style. So I thought that was quite a nice nod to the collection, even though I'm not using any of the alphas. I do have some, but I'm not using them today. Um, I'm going to pop that at a bit of an angle as well. Let's add this chipboard arrow. Mm, I don't know where that's. I think it might be my mind's eye. They did an adventure collection. And I remember we were on holiday in... It was when we were on our European road trip where we visited loads and loads of different places and we were in a shopping centre in Dresden of all places and there was a craft shop and they had some My Mind's Eye chipboard of a sort of outdoorsy adventure collection and that arrow and that explore came from that. I can't remember the collection and it was when I just started scrapbooking so when I came home I proceeded to pop it all off and keep it all separate, so I've no idea what the collection is. But I love the I love the chipboard, so I wish I could get some more of it, but it's probably really old now. But at least we are now using it. I'm gonna use a flower here. Up here. And then we've got a chamel flower. Just a nice yellowy one and another geotag and another chipboard piece that says explore now this is oh, this has got mountains on it it doesn't matter we're in a city but it was quite a mountainous city anyway so it works as far as i'm concerned and i'm going to pop that there and then this is going to go over the top somewhere here. Okay, so, so we've just got lots of, we've got lots going on on this layout. It's a bit random, isn't it? But I do quite like it. So we've got this cluster going on up here. We've got this cluster going on here. And then we've got this cluster going on here. The cluster of flare and the cluster of tickets. So that's pretty much well. I've got a couple more clusters that I had thought about adding. I've got a couple of globes. So this is from the My Mind's Eye collection, as is the compass, and then another flower and a couple of wood pieces. I thought for the globes about 
making some sort of feature where we have two for no reason other than I like the way it looks, basically. So I'm going to double layer them. So it's going to be quite chunky. So I'm going to do that. So I've just attached a little foam dot onto that. And then I have this plane. Whilst we're not, like, you know, we've got mentions of ships here. But we are on a trip. Kathy flew to the UK. So I don't mind using a plane even though we're not on a plane. Because I quite like the way it looked with the plane overlapped the globe. And then I did think about using a flower there. But I needed to put that on first. So we won't use that. <laughs> That's fine. <clears throat> I will add in one of these compasses though. It's just a little dot and I think we'll add it up here instead. Yeah. Okay, so I also have this wood piece. Now this is from some, some, blah, 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 some assemblage required from the awesome MK. Now I know she's changed her wood now. This is quite thick and I'm not the biggest fan of the thickness if I'm honest, but I do love, love, love all her stuff. Um, and as I say, the thickness of the wood has changed now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use it though, because I do love it. So I'm going to stick a foam dot on one side and a bit of glue on the other and layer it over the chipboard, I think. So it is a very dimensional layout, but that's okay. I do love dimension. So we're going to pop that up here. Like so. And then I've got this Coco Vanilla Studio Sunny Smiles phrase. I just like the way it gave a pop of white up there in and amongst all that colour. And another geotag, because then we've got our sort of three geotags. Not that I subscribe to the whole rule of three malarkey. And it does go in a diagonal, um, which I kind of like the look of. That's the only reason why I've done it and another compass up there. And that is literally the layout. I know this was probably a bit of a boring video. I hope it wasn't too boring because I had predetermined a lot of it, but I kind of had to because I wanted to use as many different elements. Like we've got chipboard, acrylic, cardstock, paper, flare, wood, wood veneer, paper, chipboard, washi tape, all sorts of different stuff and it is a different kind of layout which has been directed by the paper purely this layout is purely done because of the paper I would never have done this sort of design otherwise I kind of like it I might do it again it's a great layout for scraps because you could just use different scraps for this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece. And that would look really good as well. I'm going to add a flare. Um, I think we'll add this one, which says, say yes to new adventures. Just show you that. It's not as clear on the camera, I do apologise. <clears throat> I'm going to pop that up here. And then I will use one more, I think we'll use a blue star. We have got different blue elements, we've got some down here. So let's pop a blue star flare up there. Now, I think that's probably enough. Um, I've got this My Mind's Eye sticker book, but I don't want to add 
too much more. We've got this awesome sticker that I could lay it up here. Let's have a look. There's loads of different stuff in here. I do love this sticker book and I've not used much of it at all. So I'm going to just add in a couple of geotags. Let's add in a light blue one down here. Um, okay, I don't... Ooh. Do you know when you want to add more but you don't want to just keep adding more? It's... Uh, this is where more and more Adam comes in and it's like, stop Adam, you don't need any more. But everything's so good and I want to use it all. Now I'm not going to use any more of that. Let's see. We could add maybe a wood button from Chanel's Go Now Go, given that's the paper that we've used. Let's add that. I'm going to add it there, actually. I very much wanted the photo to become part of the layout, so that's why we've layered things onto the photo in various places. Now, I do have a lot of words on this layout, which is fine. Like, I am very wordy anyway. I'm a big fan of using words and phrases on layouts, and I don't mind if I have multiple. Like, the title for this page would probably be, for me, Wanderlust or My Sweet Friend. But it could be Bon Voyage, My Sweet Friend, We Were Here, Wanderlust, Living the Dream, Explore, Fun Starts Here, Adventure, Happy Life, Collect Beautiful Moments, Travel, Sunny Smile, Say Yes to New Adventures. There's so many different ones. So, with that in mind, I am going to pop a flare on here and cover Wish We Were Here. So it's still a geotag and we've just got the red border but I've just added a flare atop of that which is some binoculars in the same paint splash style as the suitcases. <clears throat> and I do love the way that looks. I will add some journaling up here I think. Um, I'm going to actually add Bilbao here. So I've just added Bilbao, Spain, and then I think and I've just written June 2022. I don't really need journaling as such because I am creating an album of the cruise and of Kathy's visit. So naturally there will become lots of journaling within that album. So I don't need to journal on every page. Because otherwise I will just be repeating myself a lot. I'm going to finish this off with a couple of enamel dots, not too many, but just a couple sprinkled. And I am using the rest of this pack, which is School Life from Simple Stories. Of course, this page has nothing to do with school, but that is a okay. And I am actually going to try and finish this package because we've only got these teeny tiny ones left. Not the biggest fan of the small enamel dots. They're just a little bit too small, aren't they? Or at least that's what I find. So we've got three there, three there, three there. We could have three down here as well, maybe. And I put them quite randomly. I am going to throw that singular enamel dot away, guys. And that is a pack of enamel dots used. Exciting times. 
And that is going to do it for this week. I hope you have enjoyed seeing how I've used this paper and how you can allow a paper to lead your design and lead your memory keeping. Because this page is very much about this memory, which was an absolutely incredible day. It's an incredible week, incredible month, in fact, filled with happy memories. But I've also used loads of fun stuff that I really love, and I'm really happy to have used a lot of it. So yeah, I am really pleased with this layout, even though it is very, very different. I hope you like it as well. Don't forget to check out what Kathy has been up to. And 30 Days of Sketches is coming June. The, um, Christy does it every March, June and October. So 1st of June is the start of 30 Days of Sketches. That's all I am saying on that. And I will be back with another layout very soon. Thank you so much for joining. Bye for now.